10 Facts About Winston Churchill Welcome to another episode. If you enjoy this type of content, then subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date with all our latest and greatest uploads. Let's get into the video! Winston Churchill lived to the age of 90, and in those years he accomplished many things. Most of us will remember Winston Churchill, the politician, and he is certainly remembered for his contribution to the Second World War, but that is just one side of this great man's story. His life and works are well documented and too vast for a single video. So here are our top 10 interesting facts about Winston Churchill. 1. Winston Churchill was an accomplished artist. One of the more well-known facts, Winston Churchill was an accomplished artist. He was in his 40s before he began painting, but would go on to become a prolific artist creating more than 500 paintings over a 48-year period. You can see some of his works in the National Trust collections. 2. The Greatest Britain, the British Bulldog, was in fact half American. Winston Churchill was born to Lord and Lady Randolph Churchill. His father, Randolph Churchill, was a British politician who served as Chancellor of the Exchequer while his mother, Jenny Jerome, was an American socialite. Interestingly, he was also the first person to be made an honorary citizen of the United States. 3. Winston Churchill received a Nobel Prize for Literature Winston Churchill was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1953 for his mastery of historical and biographical description as well as for brilliant oratory in defending exalted human values. He is the only British Prime Minister to have won the Nobel Prize in Literature since its inception in 1901. 4. He served in British Parliament under six monarchs. Winston Churchill's time in Parliament came to an end on the 6th of April 1955. He served in the British Parliament for almost 55 years having begun his political career at the 1900 general election as the Conservative Member of Parliament for Oldham. His political tenure spanned the reigns of Victoria, Edward II, George V, Edward VIII, George VI, and Elizabeth II. 5. Winston Churchill served as Prime Minister twice Better known for his first stint in office, Winston Churchill was actually Prime Minister twice. First, on the 10th of May 1940 to the 26th of July 1945, then again from the 26th of October 1951 to the 6th of April 1955. 6. The first known use of OMG was in a letter to Winston Churchill. OMG, who'd have thought it? The first known use of the common abbreviation OMG was in a letter from Lord Fisher to Winston Churchill on the 9th of September, 1917. 7. Winston Churchill is the only Prime Minister to enter the music charts. Winston Churchill has in fact entered the music charts twice. He first charted in 1965, shortly after his death, with The Voice Of, a collection of his most famous speeches. He then charted again, entering the album chart for the second time with a record marking the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, Reach for the Skies by the Central Band of the Royal Air Force. 8. He had a speech impediment Winston Churchill is best known for his speeches, of which there are many, and of which I'm sure you can recite a few. But a fact which may surprise you, as it did me, is that Winston Churchill had a speech impediment, which meant he had difficulty pronouncing the letter S. 9. Winston Churchill was a prisoner of war Winston Churchill is well known for his contribution to war, both the First World War and, in particular, the Second World War. A less known fact is that he was actually a prisoner of war during the Boer War. In 1899, Churchill traveled to South Africa as a newspaper correspondent to cover the Boer War between British and Dutch settlers. He was ambushed and captured by enemy soldiers. He later made his great escape and returned to Hero. 10. 
He is the only statesman to be honored on two occasions on British coins. To be commemorated on a coin is an honor to which not many can put claim. Themes and designs for coins are carefully selected by committee, and the commemorative theme must carry significant weight in order to be considered. It's rare for a statesman to be commemorated on a coin, and that honor was fitting for Winston Churchill upon his death in 1965. Such was Winston Churchill's contribution and legacy that now, 50 years later, his memory will be honored again on UK coins, and he will become the only statesman to be honored in such a way on two separate occasions. And with that, we've reached the end of this video, all about the top 10 facts about Winston Churchill. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, then give us a like and subscribe for more content just like this.